and welcome for this awesome soccer match Germany against France. Ah no, joking. We are <laughs> we are casting some supreme commander here. No place for soccer. Yes, so long time without a cast, but at least um I made casts uh, before. But I never could upload the cast for a simple reason is that I, I had no internet. So when you don't have internet, uh, I, I realized that it was way harder to, to put the video on YouTube. For this reason, uh, for this reason, I had to wait a few weeks before being able to cast some games. On the end, yes, let's see what we have on the program. I prefer to tell you, today it's a double cast. I will cast two games, probably two short games, and we will try to focus on uh, a more larger uh, panel of players, because until now I was really looking for some top 5 against top 5 players, now it will be more some kind of top 20 against top 20 players. Um, we will start by a very uh, uh, the replays, I, I didn't watch those yet, but the first one will be a Mad Mozart against Lame. So, uh, since a long time I wanted to cast some, some Lame uh, lame replays, because uh, he <laughs> he's a very special player with a really special style. So, that's what we are about to see. The map, it's Eye of the Storm. I don't think I casted Eye of the Storm yet. Or maybe, or maybe not. Anyway, so we will be in Lame's view. Lame's view. Uh, he's playing Mad Mozart, and as oh no, I I <laughs> I I was ready to 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 bet twenty dollars. He was about to go bomber first because of the map, and because he is Seraphim, and because he is lame. So I'm really surprised. However, you see, it starts already. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. <coughs> he's very uh, painful player, but but very funny to watch. So you can see he starts by insulting his uh, his opponent. Uh, plus, uh, Mad Mozart, he's a uh, <laughs> he doesn't like to be insulted, so he could be affected by by those uh, those comes from a lame. So let's see. Mad Mozart's playing random since few weeks. Uh, he is a uh, 2,000 rated player, and Lame is a 1,700 rated player. So the difference of rating is very huge. Uh, on a 5 per 5 kilometers, I will bet that Lame can do something, but on this kind of map, uh, I will give a big advantage to Mad Mozart because he he's very good uh, on 10 per 10 kilometers map. Although I'm not sure he's very used to UF, we will see how he reacts. And also, when you play lame, you have to you have to play differently. Like you have really just to scoot him uh, and adapt to what he will do. Because, for example, no one goes uh, <laughs> no one goes second land on, on Eye of the Storm with only one NG on the hydro. That's not really senseless. So, for example, uh, a big mistake from Mad Mozart would be to see, uh, it's normal to go um, Interceptor and Scoot first, but as soon as you see this heavy land strategy, you have to switch to Bombers because you will have air, and if you have air with two Interceptors, it will be the same that if you have air with six Interceptors. Well, for the air supremacy, however, you won't be able to hurt the NGs with your Interceptors, but that I didn't need it to say it because you knew it. So, Airford, and... Uh, yeah, it's uh, some build orders that you never see, but why not? Uh, he will have his uh, Hydro very late, so you can already see the poor advantage from Mad Mozart, but very fast uh, max grabbing from, uh, from lame. Okay, Scoot here. So finally, the air factory won't arrive that late. However, the ACU will leave the base late, and we know how uh, how how ACUs are very crucial on Eye of the Storm. It's good and 
Oh, okay, so that's good. You see, uh, Madwazar didn't do this mistake. He starts to to hurt his opponent. However, I don't see interceptor. So actually, uh, Bomber should be intercepted quite fast. Oh, okay, those are here. He okay, the mechs will be finished. No. Okay, he prefers dodge. <laughs> it was a mistake because he had enough time to finish the mix. Anyway, uh, good reaction from Mozart. He's winning the NG fight, but <laughs> another thing here. Okay, he killed the NG. Uh, actually, I'm a little bit annoyed because this map, Eye of the Storm, is a very, it's a classic, it's a very complicated map. Extremely well balanced between land, air, and navy. And uh, I think that with the weird playstyle of Flame, we won't learn much about Eye of the Storm. We will more learn. Oh, you you can see the kind of mistakes that uh, that explains the, the rating difference. Yeah, that I'm not used w uh, until now. I was casting s uh, some Black Heart or some Zok replays. <laughs> you, you never see this in, in, in those replays. So, uh, for <laughs> yeah, and he will assist the others. Mm, what a gong bong! Yeah. Anyway. The ACU going middle, <laughs> actually not going middle, going to. <laughs> That's why I wanted to cast some lame game. Is that he? <laughs> it's like a, a brainless style. Like he just goes to the enemy base one way. I'm not even sure he will stop to take the maxes. He has no air. Uh, he has some tanks, but NGs are dead on. Yeah, actually, I I think it's a really bullshit replay because the game is already over. Actually, Be uh, Lame is about to lose the two expansions here. He has one tank, but yeah, won't change much. Uh, I I was about to say that uh, Mozart was about to go Jester, but with UF it will be a little more complicated. But more bombers, it's okay. He will have navy on time. I. Sorry, I was too slow, but I didn't see if it was submarine or frigate. It changes a lot, especially when. Okay, he changed his mind. No problem. Take to land with flak. Yeah, but no. Oh, yeah, th that hurts the eyes. Really, th th that's. Um, yeah, that hurts the eye. I will check one second. I alt tab. It's normal if it breaks, but I want to check the the rank of flame. No. Oh yeah, 28. You see, 28. So that that explains, uh, and you can see the huge difference of of level between a 28 player and a top 10 player. Bombers doing quite good damages. Actually, UF bombers are decent against tech one tanks because it deals more damages. It nearly can one shoot uh, a tam. Tam is it's uh, the tech one tank. Um, with no assist on the Tech 2 factory, he won't be able to counter uh, the Navy with Yanzi. Uh, yeah, what? <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Okay. <laughs> That's the worst replay I ever saw. <laughs> Why am I casting it? <laughs> he, he, he takes no mixes, his economy is crashed. <laughs> He started a tech to max here, but he's way, way far. Oh, okay, thanks God, he's taking back three over maxes. Uh. Yes, I, I think we could. I could. I should have asked for some players to give me a cool lame replay because most of the time he he like he makes a, a direct attack to the enemy base and it's funny to see how players will react to this but here he lost his mind like sending three tanks here but without grabbing map control on the on the ACU of Mozart is here um, yeah you see it's all the point in RTS games if you fight for some map control but you don't uh, make it fructify after Okay, so typical lame style when he sees a uh, ACU. Uh, what the? F but actually, there's no unit to. Ha there's no. No factor. Nothing. There's no. F He's in a bit of troubles here. 
No world charge for now. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 it can't be. <laughs> no, I think it should be anyway. Actually, no. HPs are decreasing very fast. Just flag to kill the air. No. <laughs> I can't believe it. No, no, 1000 HP locked by the flak. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was. It was nonsense. Like. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Like, look. <laughs> That's such a bullshit game. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, Mozart he had this expansion, the tech two tanks securing it. He was taking back those mixes. He has tech two max. <laughs> well, Mozart didn't scoot the ACU. Like he had frigate too late here, maybe just to get the sonar. But oh god. <laughs> No, so actually it was a good lame replay, but I can't believe he managed to. Two minutes before winning, he was the had nothing. Like he won the game with five tech one tanks on the flag. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, uh, the economy will be fun. Yeah. Uh, look, six thousand, six thousand mass difference at ten minutes game. At ten minutes game. That's what. Yeah, but as we say, no scoot, no win. And yeah, it, it was very greedy to get only the issue. At least, he, I think, to be honest, I think with four, four tech one tanks, or one reptile, he could uh, survive on rich water. But he had only his ACU, so it was, uh, it was a little risky. Okay. Ah! I can't leave you after such <laughs> actually I will change my mind. I had a second replay that I wanted to cast that was looking interesting but actually I want to cast a second lane game because it's so fun to watch. Uh, what do we have? Uh, uh. I won't choose a second time uh, against Mad Mozart because he, if uh, I, <laughs> uh, I'm more looking in uh, following to the map because I think it can be interesting to see him playing on some maps. Um, yeah, this one, why not? It's against Tag People, who is playing a lot against uh, again uh, those times uh, on the Cold Place. Is that the name of the map? I think. So I never casted the cold place, and we continue with lame. <laughs> so you can see huge rating difference, Mad Mozart and lame. But sometimes you can steal a win by <laughs> by a weird play style. But that's it's paradoxal because this style it was looking like no strategy at all, <laughs> only going randomly somewhere, and it worked against a way better players. So it shows how deep can be Supreme Commander because you can have such a variety of strategies that I it's hard to, to keep in mind all the different strategies. Ah, I'm happy, Bomber first. Because I, I'm not sure I casted some Bomber first yet. So for players who don't know it yet, uh, you have to start by one pigeon, then Air Factory. Don't forget to put the rally point of the factory Oh, you can change it. That's awesome. You can change it for the <laughs> in the replay, but it com it comes back to the reality. Ah, okay, so now he, he did it on the good way. Because if by any mistake you start the bomber with the rally point on the right, in this case, the bomber will start to be built orientated on the right. So the turn for a bomber to, to do this way, you will lose I don't know, 6-7 seconds on 
it is enormous when you go on the first because the time is what makes that will make successful or not your bomber first time and of course bomber micro okay so bomber four engines scoot Oof. Uh, I don't know okay so he doesn't want to make some air but looks as it's lame style uh, I will uh <laughs> It's hard to judge because sometimes he's doing some y ugly mistakes that makes him win. So yeah, really hard to to have judgment ab about him. Uh, yeah, that was a bad micro. That was another bad micro. Okay, so okay, and let's see the reaction. It's a mistake from Pebble first. He didn't split the pigeons against a player that is known to go often bomber first, and then he w started a not here, and you have all the time to start by a scout to dodge with your engines, and then to anti here. But he did the opposite thing, it which means that he had no scout, so no dodging. Uh, let's see here. No, not too late, uh, especially against uh, Seraphim bomber. It's very hard to dodge. So yeah. Not too bad. Weird move, but probably to cover the area. That's the real strength of Boomer first, is that you have some visibility of what your opponent is doing. Don't forget, yeah, he knew probably that it was an anti air, but uh okay we can see a little bit of micro looking well orientated, but I okay it's floor focus. <laughs> yeah, very close. And finally the plane. So, I think Pebble didn't react too bad, except the scoot mistake, but he went directly to Interceptor. Even if you had predicted to go second land, you have to change your mind. Against Bomber first, you always go second air. That's uh, because after we had quite often some players whining about Bomber first, but actually, if they go second land, it's like there's a lake of logical choices so the contrary blames the strategy I think it's balanced as long as you pay attention ok so pebble they see you looks to be underwater because we didn't see it I didn't introduce um, tag pebble but it's <laughs> a very very uh, classic players in the community. He is here uh, playing since the beginning of Four Giants, the beta. He was playing Vanilla a little, but he started to be very good on Four Giants. Uh, he's the son of Tag Rock, for those who don't know, and he had been number one uh, FA player during a very long time. Uh, he's one of the few players who reached uh, the 2600 rating on GPGnet. Very few players managed to, to reach this rating. So, yeah, th that's a player that was very good in 2009. Uh, he was playing often against uh, against Gidzi and Voodoo on Zij at this time. Uh, and it's very cool to, to see him playing again. He's, he played also on FAF. I think he was number one of FAF maybe during two or three days at the very beginning with Funkoff but since this time he had some breaks um, but still yeah he had some very good reflex and he Tech people has very high APM so or he used to have one I don't know maybe now with the years he became old I don't know I hope not but uh, yeah so a player that you have to respect that is still probably able to win more or less anybody on small maps at least so concerning uh, concerning lane he's taking late slowly but surely uh, the mixes yeah quite a standard start uh, concerning the map I still didn't talk at all about the map but it's the cold place I had a good name <laughs> yeah um he's spamming on the south which is very good most of players used to to send the spam on north but actually you can hurt way more your opponent 
send the git on soof and on the meantime securing the soof. So this is lame. Lame, he's never afraid of getting a draw, that's what you have to know about this player, which means once he's in the range of the enemy ACU, he will not retreat. So, yeah. <laughs> once again, we are choice by lame, like focusing this mix was the last thing to do. Uh, I just said he never goes back, but well, here he really don't have the choice, especially that he is in an okay position on the south. So this first attack from lane wasn't very good. Uh, he lost a lot. Yeah, he lost a lot of HPs for nearly nothing. Uh, he's adding some more factories. I would be surprised to see him launching a tech 2, but energy problems. Uh, that's not good. He's starting three engines on energy production in addition to this one who was here since the beginning. But what he has to do especially is yeah okay he switched to to engines with air factory to reduce the energy consumption but as you can see it's not enough okay probably he will get this ng which is a big tar target of course uh, yeah. it's lame uh, I, I knew it would be weird to, to cast some lame game but actually uh, Look, look, how can you click that wi with your mouse? Like, <laughs> he won't touch his ACU during 6 minutes 30 seconds. I don't really believe it, but it's like, you know, he has, like, in his mind, you don't know how it really works, but, like, I know what I want to do. I want to do <laughs> all the map working with ACU. Uh, anyway, anyway, for the moment, he's behind, but he's getting some map control, so he could come back, but this tech one spam won't be enough for this he will have first to get some energy but it's okay now and then he will have to take to, to take a strategic choice like going navy or massive air or tech to land but he will have to do something also you can see um, he doesn't care like <laughs> he, he if you want to learn this game don't watch those replays because it's a, a massacre uh, in terms of uh, of gameplay, there's no radar. You can see that there's not a single radar on the map. Um, so, since he has good energy, he will uh, forget to to stop this energy production. But actually, maybe Pebble will help him by killing an NG. No, okay, yeah, but this tank, <laughs> this tank, uh, allowed the NG to stop the the. Uh, extra energy production. So actually, Pebble helped his opponent by sending this stock. Except that uh, he won't uh, rebuild the, the lost mixes. Oh, so yeah, okay. <laughs> he comes back, so yeah. S since few minutes he's walking underwater wi without uh, being sure, sure of his choices. Uh, factory lame. Are you sure you want to play standard <laughs> on the PD? Yeah, awesome. Uh, awesome. Let's check what Pebble has. I think he has less factories. So actually, in terms of units on the map, Pebble is not in a bad place. And especially with the ACU here, there's no possible, li no possibility for Pebble to get the reclaim of the middle and it's very key on this map that's why he has a factory uh, you can see one frigate why not why not it's a good choice like it has a good radar of course it's an expensive radar but it's a radar with a lot of HPs uh, NG is tongue so the readings from Pebble are good uh, however I, I think Pebble could use air supremacy even more finally tech to learn from Lame, Yanzi, the choice. Um, different reasons. Chicken bots could also very well work. Well, oh, poor English sentence. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, you can see. Pebble, better economy, so better, more forces. And yeah, I, I, I don't. Yanzi, it's so such a bad tank. It's it's fast. It's it's uh it's hoover but otherwise uh, yeah okay so was he going for uh, for something it's 
funny like oof if Pebble doesn't move his ICU he will get some hearty shots yeah a little nothing too big but still no overcharge available at 10 minutes game it's a little late and yeah look at this tank 330 HPs and look at the region it means that it has one or two veteran seeds, but it's veteran seeds that he had by killing mixes, not units. So it's it's a lot of HP he killed. Like he made all the map. Poof, 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 poof. He lost a, a friendly tank here. We remember, but yeah, alone he killed half of the income of flame. So that's the MVP of the game. He's here and he's not ready to die. Okay. So Yanzi. Shitty tank, but still it's some tech 2, so hopefully it wins against three three tech 1 tanks when it's in the range. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tanks are not moving or not in the good direction. Uh, maybe I will come back to some top five <laughs> against top five replays for for the for the next cast because. Is it tech? Yeah, tech to ACU! It will never work, look at all the units there is here! Well, I said the same thing for the previous game against Matt Mozart, and actually he, he managed to, to steal a win from nowhere. So I prefer not get any pronostic with lame. He, yeah, he's taking the maxes. No visibility, nothing. He made, okay, few scouts, which helps, but on radar, yeah, okay, that's awesome. What can this tech one, tech two PD do? That's the question. It can shut the floor first. There's not a lot of artists from people, so maybe tech one PD could help. Could help here. Uh, it's taking some kills, but I think there's enough tech one tanks to destroy the PD, yeah, definitely. Okay, reclaiming, that's what you have to do when you are in range with a tech to issue. And you see, PD, it will be, like one PD, that, that's, okay, there's one RT, but there's not enough RT in general. So he overcharged uh, a Fobo, but he had way better to overcharge, like, okay. The Yanzi has to be overcharged. And now the position is taken by uh, Lame. He has some storage, so he has the cash to, to, to invest in some uh, some PDs. Take one PD, but now we can see some artists. Uh, incredible. Since the beginning of the game, Lame doesn't have his maxes. He's always losing the maxes, but he managed to get some units, but probably not enough units. He has no energy storage, so no overcharge. It's way too late to realize that. We can see probably in the base. Oh, okay, he's losing the pigeons. So <laughs> that's such a messy game, like you. Yeah. One good thing, also, that the artists are stayed behind, so they shout, but they are not dead. So you can see. Oh <laughs> He will go for the draw, I'm sure. Look at the HP difference at this point, seeing that he's losing all his energy. The problem when you reclaim like he's doing, is that you don't grab a veteran seed. Okay, so you can see, actually from way... <laughs> he <laughs> how do you play as lame? You do that, and you right click on the ACU, and you see nothing else to do. Okay, uh, trying to get some mixes, but... Ah, he can't win this one. He can't win this one. No, it yeah, it will be a draw he, because people focus the ACU to be sure to get the draw. Yeah, unbelievable! A draw from Lame. I can't believe it. <laughs> what a stupid game! Oh, yeah, but oh, people could definitely win this game because look, people denied the the early two or three readings from Lame and then after he had all his side of the map without any trouble. Um, yeah. So Lame managed to get a draw. 
uh, why not enough artists from Pebble? Definitely so, and maybe his units were not in the good place. And then LCU very exposed. That when you are a UF, you feel like you have a strong ACU, that's true, but it's still uh, killable, especially when you have some tech tools like that. Some missed overcharge also didn't help. And uh, when you have a tech 2 ACU at 14 minutes game, you d and you don't have upgrade, you, you don't go in the, r in the range of this ACU because there's a too big HP difference and regen speed difference as well. So yeah, he just, f seriously, he was tech 2 since a long time, he just had to put one tech 2 PD here, and so the tech 2 ACU of flame was locked, he couldn't do anything out of water. Yeah, and of course tech 2 PD secured by the tech 1 spam. And no more, yeah, look at all those pigeons dead. But well, that's life, that's lame. And uh, yes, th that was some fun replays. I will cast some more serious <laughs> replays later. By the way, I changed the settings, so now I hope that the microphone is no more annoying. Uh, tell me in the description uh, if it worked or not. And see you for another video. Bye bye.